PRC license renewal this 2024. Since 2018, the Professional Regulation Commission PRC, has fully implemented the Online Renewal System ORS, to all its regional and satellite offices, including the Service Centers for Overseas Filipino Workers OFW. This means that all professionals regulated by the PRC who wants to renew their licenses are now required to secure an appointment with the PRC Lurie's Licensure Examination and Registration Information System and pay the renewal fee online. The renewal process of PRC license involves two stages. 1. Online application for PRC license renewal. 2. Personal appearance to process and claim the renewed PRC ID at the PRC office. Type on your browser, online.prc.gov.ph and then click the close button. And if you still don't have a Lurie's account, you may need to click the register button. And if you already have a Lurie's account, Click the sign in button and type in your valid email address and then your password and then click the I am not a robot box and lastly select the sign in button and click the OK button. Always remember that appointment slots are free and then click the proceed button and then click the select transaction box or button and click the proceed button and click again the proceed button and click or select the renewal tab and select your profession and type in your PRC license number Important note, please update your photo. Reused photo will be rejected or disapproved. And lastly click the proceed button. And this will pop out. Please bring your certificates with earned 15 CPD units to your chosen appointment place and date. And then click the OK button. This will be now your appointment details for your PRC license renewal. You need now to select your preferred PRC regional office on where you want to process and claim the renewal of your PRC license. After choosing your preferred PRC regional office, you will find here your scheduled appointment date and time. In here you will find your new expiration date of your PRC license and also the amount that you will have to pay. Important note. If the given earliest appointment date does not work for you, you can select another date by clicking here. And lastly click the next button. In the next step, you will need to provide additional details. You will need to provide your current employer and also what type that you are employed and then the office address of your employer. You may also find here your CPD units that you have earned. And lastly click the next button. The next step is to select your payment channel. Click your preferred payment channel below. As of now PRC cashier is not yet available. After you have chosen your preferred payment channel, you may now click the OK button. And then click the next button. And lastly click the submit application. For confirmation, click the yes button. In here you may choose your preferred QR and e-wallet payment channel. 
If you choose the GCash payment channel, you will need to log in your GCash mobile number and enter the six digit authentication code and type in your four digit M pin and click here to pay for your PRC license renewal and then click the proceed button. Congratulations! You have successfully paid for your PRC license renewal and then click here to return to your PRC Lurie's account. You may now need to proceed with your existing transaction. Here you can find the details of your PRC license renewal. You may click here to print your electronic receipt. This will be now your electronic receipt. And if you try to click the view epic, this will pop out. And if you click the print renewal form, this will pop out. This will be now your renewal form. You may click here if you want to download your renewal form. Or you may click here if you want to print it. And after printing your renewal form, don't forget to sign here for your signature. On the lower part of your renewal form, you will find the basic requirements. 1. Proof of system generated signed application form for the renewal of professional identification card. 2. Certificate of attendance to accredited CPD seminars. 3. Other documents as may be prescribed by the professional regulatory law of the concerned profession i.e. certificate of good standing, surety bond for real estate, Here are the list of professions that require an updated certificate of good standing. And if you are an overseas Filipino professionals, in lieu of CPD certificates, you can submit any of the following. And if you a former Filipino professional who has reacquired Philippine citizenship, shall submit the following and for professionals with dual citizenship shall submit any of the following and for the representative here are the requirements and lastly click the close button